I want to put it to saying now because uh, I know a lot of people voted for Trump think the world is going to be all better now. Um, now, I'm not going to put this out in a way where you might expect where why Trump won't deliver on all his promises or many of his promises. Um, and it's not necessarily that he was scamming. Um, he's finding out he can't. <laughs> I think when he got in there, he found out that the president doesn't really control that much, which we all know. Actually, if you read the book, The Shadows of Power by James Perloff, he used to be a former liberal and he kind of discovered, well, hey, wait a minute, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Big money controls everything. Yeah, no kidding, right? We all know that. Now, for people that think, you know, we're going to send, you know, I always see these, these uh, caricatures like firing a cannon of Trump and the people are firing a cannon of Trump at D.C. to fix everything. You know, one of the things I always said is go back to states' rights, too. That's another thing. You divide the power up. But then, even when you get to the state level, you got to chop them down. you got to chop down the county governments and all the other parasites. But you're not going to do that by saying, I'm going to elect somebody to fix it for me. It doesn't work like that. And I can tell you what the real problem is in the United States. You know, I, man, I shouldn't really say this, but... You know, if you look at YouTube itself, right, it's a good cross-section of what the population is interested in. And, you know, I don't really hit those subjects as much as I should because, you know, for, you know, I'm looking at some of the stuff YouTube sent to me about creative producers and I'm like, yeah, whatever, fine. You know, I don't really get into that kind of crap, to tell you the truth. It's like, you know, I just put out the raw facts and things that I think there's like a hole in the major media that needs to be filled up and also a hole in the alternative media that needs to be filled up with other things that aren't being brought out. But if you look at what's popular in the cult and what's popular amongst everybody, and you can look at trends in YouTube and you'll say it's a bunch of garbage. You know, what the hell are these people? You know, what's going on with this crap? You know, some of the most popular people, I'm like, I don't ever want, I don't pay any attention to them. I'm not knocking them, but you know what I'm saying. You know, somebody could be playing video games with their little head on the corner. I don't know. What's one guy? I don't mind the guy, but you know what I mean, right? But that's telling you why everything's screwed up because it's not like you got to get political, but you got to, like, kind of stand on your own two feet and be your own person. And a lot of people aren't doing that. And I always call these a lot of these conservatives cuck conservatives because they're not really, you know, they're not really um, true blue to the guys. They're not going to. When it really comes down to it, when it gets thick, they're, they're like buttermilk. They want to, like, get somebody out there to do the job for them, and like, oh, yeah, rah, 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 and, you know. But if it comes on them, they won't do it. The other thing is, if you really want to, like, dismantle a lot of the crap that's going on, don't cooperate with it. You know, there's a lot of little stupid things you can do. You know, a lot of people don't really have to support, you know, the big stores, for one. Um, you know, just to give you a dumb example, because I don't want to give you real examples, because I don't know if that would be a violation of YouTube parameters, but, and this is like an example from before, like say for instance in Mexico, you know, you pay, you know, this is in some, some places in Mexico, you pay a lot of money for taxes on a house, so what the people would do is you wouldn't complete the house, you leave one little section of the roof undone, and you just get a new permit to renew your permit, so you wouldn't complete the house, and that means it's not on a tax roll. It's still under construction, so you got a little piece of it not undone. And you just re keep renewing that permit so it's cheaper to do it that way. It's a dumb little example, but it's an example of how you can get away around things. And I don't want to suggest anything on here, but there's a million things you could do. You can clobber the, the control freaks by a thousand cuts, but nobody does that, man. Nobody does that. You know, I do a lot of little stupid things to save a dollar here and there, although I could say, oh, I can easily afford it. Well, that's not the point. And it's not just saving the money there. It's like, don't give it to the taxing authorities. Actually, that's one of the biggest reasons I don't even drink any liquor, too. It's like, I don't really have nothing against, like, drinking some wine or something like that, but I won't drink it because I know it's highly taxed. I'm like... Screw it, man. I mean, you know, if I maybe I make my own stuff, fine. I don't care. But that's one reason I won't ever drink, because it's highly taxed. And you know, all these little things you do is cutting them, cutting out of them. It's cutting out the guys that are controlling you. Now Trump's finding out. You know, it's not that simple. He, you know, the president is like. 
He's like the guy that you see in the front. He's like the sales pitch guy. And, you know, I think Obama found that out when he went, to, went in there, and they all find that out. The only guy that was really bucking the system was JFK, and you know what happened to him, right? I'm going to tell you, even honestly, when you're talking, you know, I know you people out there are all Vladimir Putin fans. I doubt, highly, 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 highly doubt he's the guy that's the kingpin in Russia. Highly doubt it. Uh, what do I base that on? There were some people that, well, there were things I've read that were from uh, intelligence people that say there was an apparatus behind the scenes that really controls him, which makes sense. Because this, this guy didn't just come out of nowhere and just get picked by Yeltsin. If they wanted, if he wasn't, he's too busy to really be running a lot of crap behind the scenes. He's more of a media guy that, you know, he represents the nation. That's Vlad Putin. Even he does not, He even though he's been in power all that time, he does, I don't doubt, highly, highly doubt, he actually controls as much as Russia, you think. I think the people that control Russia, Russia I don't think nobody really, hardly, and very few people know who actually they are. And, but more so with the situation in the United States, you got a guy in there that's the president, he's there for four, four or eight years, he's not there in there for like 15 years or so, right? So that's another thing. Um, actually, I, I swear, I think the Bush family still controls a lot more behind the scenes, but those are people we know about. You know, there's names we don't know about. I've seen stuff where there's uh, financial things that went on, you know, private placement platforms and things that you would make your head spin where there's, like, money that's not really, you know, it's not on Forbes list. It's not really, like, no, it's just like a whole other underground private financial system out there for crying out loud and it's all in with the government um, the way to really bust this is everybody's got to stand up on their own two feet and do it a little bit out of piecemeal what they got afraid of like with the guys on the real top the real people on the top whoever they are they got afraid of is that they realize there's a big undercurrent where there's practically a revolution brewing and they're scared of that so they're going to allow Trump to do some stuff to make it look good sort of like a Ronnie Reagan deal but uh, he ain't going to be able to do too much, even if he, I, he probably is more legit than I give him credit for. He probably is, but I know the problem is it's not like him. You know, it's like, say you're going into a battle, right? And <coughs> you got a million people there, right? What do the people do? A million people elect this one guy that's really powerful and he's a real good gladiator and gonna, he's going to fight the whole battle himself. Well, that's kind of like what people are doing and trying to elect Trump, for crying out loud. You guys are stupid for doing that. It's, I hate those kind of people because it's like, those are the, those are the kind of conservatives. Who the hell needs them? I mean, I, don't even, I hate that word, too. I mean, I'm not even a conservative, really. It's more like, <coughs> I don't like dictating anything to anybody, what, they're, what they want to do or whatever it is. I'm not really that conservative, per se, but let's call it fiscal conservatism with the government and just people do their own thing. You know, whatever they earn, they earn and they can keep. And, you know, you don't take it away from the earners and give it to the people that don't earn. You know, that kind of stuff. I mean, I mean, it's good to have some social programs and stuff. But I'm saying is, I'm not really like a diehard conservative, per se, because I don't like a lot of those people. But a lot of those people that are like, like that, they support the Trump. And they think, you know, he's going to change everything. He's not going to be, He's even if he's... He's probably more sincere than he's going to actually wind up. I don't think he was all sincere. I think he was BSing partly. But it's going to look actually extra bad because I think he's going to wind up backtracking from a lot of stuff. A real lot. And it's not because he was BSing that much. It's because he's going to be forced to. He, you know, <laughs> president doesn't control much. That's just how it is. So... If you really want to change stuff, it's not like you'd stick your nose in the alternative media and you're like, eh, the drama and the Planet X and the dollar's going to fall tomorrow. I mean, dollar. You know, there might be some truth about a lot of that doom and gloom stuff. I mean, I know Deagle.com, which is D-E-A-G-E-L-E, -E, uh, G-E-E-L, excuse me, versus G-L-E, Deagle. You know, like Beagle, except with E-L instead of L-E at the end. Um... They predict 61.3 million people in this nation by 2025, down from like 320 million, whatever it is right now. 
and that's a lot of it due to exodus, due to the collapse of the economy. But I don't know if they're right. They don't even know if they're right. Um, that may be true, though. That may be true. That that you know, they're a serious site. They're not a scary drama music site. They might be true. It might be true. I don't know. I kind of guess it's going to be partly true um, because the powers that are on the top, they want to kind of like knock down the United States to, uh, um, you know, meld everything into, you know, global government and make all nations more on the same playing field of equality so nobody can rise up against each other and no one's, and make them all interdependent so nobody can be independent um, so they can control everything, more like feudal lords. I know that's true. I mean, that's, that's, that's uh, you know, I don't know what you want to call that. It's 101 on what's going on with the globalist garbage. That's, that is their agenda. There's no doubt about it. And they're looking for ways to tax people through calling the, uh, you know, calling the climate change and global, uh, what do you call it, global warming. And they're saying, hey, you're going to have to pay carbon credits. Like every time you get on a plane, you pay carbon credits or something. You pay for that now. Um, they're looking for ways to tax people due to the environment and what you use up. I mean, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's it's not like getting on YouTube and freaking watching a video and all this drama crap. I mean, a lot of stuff, I put some of this stuff on like this, but a lot of stuff I put on is hands-on. You know? Um, I've seen so many people that they got to hire somebody to do something. I mean, it's like, you know, you could do that, and it's not like saying you're saving money, but it's good to know how to do things yourself, how to actually fix something yourself. And the other thing is, it involves less, you know, garbage going on where it's, you know, as a matter of fact, well, I'm just going to tell you, you're probably better off hiring people from buying stuff off of uh, newspaper ads where you avoid sales tax, you're not supposed to do that, but you might be better off doing that kind of crap, going to flea markets or whatever. Uh, avoiding all the big damn companies, you know what I mean? Garage sales or whatever. I mean, if you need some a product, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, some lawn furniture or some shit or whatever the hell it is, that's what you do. You help out somebody directly and you avoid the companies, you avoid the system, you know, that's, that's why they, they got to battle on cash. You're not really supposed to do that, but, you know, i got to tell you something here. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's how you can kind of fight them. You can do a lot of stuff like that. And, you know, the way to really fight Washington, D.C. is to take the power away and bring the power back to the states. Then from there, we can whittle down the power of the states. <laughs> and if one state gets more screwed up than the other, you know, people are going to move out of that state and go to the state that's normal. You know what I mean? Uh, like New Jersey is probably one of your worst states for a lot of regulations. Worse than California by far, guarantee you. People don't believe that. I live out in California. Um, probably one of the better states is going to be like Montana in the East Coast and Eastern states. Probably Tennessee would be the best state. I don't know. Uh, for lack of excessive regulations. Um, maybe in the Northeast would be New Hampshire might be the best one. I don't know. But, you know, that's the thing. you got to go to places in, that are less restrictive and also take the power out of D.C. That, you know, that that's really important. You know, that's not how the government was supposed to be in the first place. So when you have it in your head that I'm going to send this guy to D.C. to fix everything, first off, you're taking the power away from you because you're telling somebody else to do it for you. And everybody's just going to sit back and watch this guy try to fix everything. It's like you got a million people in a battle and you, and you watch one guy fight the battle, right? The number two, it's like D.C. is the problem itself. It's like you can't fix garbage. It's over. It's got way too much regulation. There's too much power that the president has. I mean, if Trump made a bunch of executive orders you liked. I mean, that's, that's violating the whole principle in the first place. President shouldn't be allowed to do executive orders left and right. That's for the legislature to do. And, you know, if somebody in, in, the, in the Supreme Court totally ignores the Bill of Rights, well, they will be hung up on a tree, along with Hillary Clinton, too. You know what I mean? I mean, that's really what it comes down to. I mean, what can I, how can I else say it, right? Eh, you know what I mean? Because those are freaking flat-out traitors. When you're that educated, they blatantly ignore the Constitution left and right. Uh, they ought to just be hung to help them. Done. So my advocating violence? I don't know. 
But then, you know, there's always a time for something, right? I mean, you know, if he's talking about change, you really want change, it'll make some change. But that's one thing. I'm just going to tell you this, you know, because people are, you know, kicking back, you know, like, eh, Trump's going to do this. And I'm like, no, he ain't. But I, I know he's bullshit somewhat. I know that. But he's not bullshit as much as he's going to look like he's bullshit. He's going to look like he's bullshit in a real lot because he's not going to be able to do this stuff. You're going to find this out. That's why, in a way, it, I, I don't really care too much if he won or lost. I mean, I really want him to win. But I know if Hillary won, <laughs> even as it is, we might, I don't know what's going to happen because I think Trump's chosen all these hardliners with Russia and I'm like, holy smokes, dude. I'm way against conflict with Russia. I, I don't care. I mean, I'm not really a fan of Putin. I know the, I know there's guys behind the scenes in Russia that are looking for a new world order and the Russian way, you know, that kind of stuff. But, you know, with, with the Russia being on top, and I'm like, I don't want to, you know, the United States and Russia's got to work together, especially, to, well, the people could work together pretty good. But, uh, I got to tell you, man, um, stuff's coming up is pretty bad news. And, you know, if Hillary got in, the bad news would be coming up even extra quick. But either way, I can tell you right now, the economy's going to go to south. It's already gone south. It's gone, it's done. It's kaputsky. Not the entire economy is going to all go bad, but a lot of the stuff, the numbers that you see on the outside are going to look bad. Like, in other words, the stock market has been pricey for a long, long time. The only time it's been... This pricey, you know, with the P.E. ratios are that skewed, was in the 29 stock market crash, the dot-com bubble in 1987. Probably coming up with something pretty bad. And then, you know, Trump will take the blame, whatever, fine, whatever. God. Um, I know it's going to happen, no matter who gets in. He even said it. He says, I'd hate to see if something happens in the first quarter of the next term of the next presidency. But, you know, but that's not, that's here and there, man. That's here and there. You know, people got to do things on their own. And that's why, actually, I'm putting out a lot of stuff on cheap stuff people can buy, maybe, they can use, they can help them. You know, I mean, I put out some Bowie Knife videos recently, right? Some of the cheap ones, some of the better ones, the K-Bar ones, some of the, you know. And, you know, if you if you buy this damn cell phone or something like that, and you, you got an iPhone, it costs you, what, 500 bucks sometimes, maybe $200 worth of contract. It's good for two or three years max. Throw in the garbage. You know, you buy some tools, you buy a Bowie knife, you buy, I don't know, whatever, you know, crossbow or something. Here it is, 20 years later, it's still good. It actually does you a lot more service. People got to go back to the nuts and bolts. The millennials are almost a hopeless case. Not all of them, though. Not all of them. But, you know, I know the millennials are driving YouTube left and right, man. I, every time, once in a while, I look at what's trending on YouTube, and I'm saying, God, I never watched this stuff in my million years. But that's not trying to. But, you know, it goes by what the population wants. And YouTube's not freaking making people do this. That's what they want. I'm actually putting out stuff a lot of people don't want to see. But then I'm probably catering to the people that are going to be the ones that survive. Not that I'm really pushing for doom and gloom and survival and all that crap. But, you know, in a practical sense, when we had, you know, you got to know stuff that's real simple. And not, you know, dependent upon computers all the way. And if you look back in the Great Depression, which we can get into again here, you know, almost everybody on the block had their own garden. <laughs> you know, people were even, like, familiar with horses, because horses, even in the 30s, that, you know, a lot of people didn't have cars. A lot of people didn't even have phones. They had a phone on a block, maybe, you know. Maybe they didn't have a phone for, like, a couple miles away, right? Even in the 1930s. The electricity was kind of brand new. I mean, yeah, you say it was around in the 1930s, but a lot of people were still using kerosene heat and coal stoves. Coal stoves were very popular. Today, if you have an EMP, everybody's dead. I hate to put it that way, but, you know, so I'm putting out other stuff. I mean, I got the stuff I mean, I was using my old Perfection 1550 oil kerosene heater. I used diesel fuel on it. Man, that thing's great. My electric bill was... <laughs> Even with my all of my Christmas lights out there, millions of them, right? All over the place, running them from like uh, dusk to uh, midnight every day, plus security lights running all night. Electric bill was 78 bucks, $78 for the freaking month. I was like, holy smokes. I guess because heat ever used up everything, because I was using, uh, using that old fashioned heater. <laughs> I figured, what the hell, man? <laughs> it's not too bad. But, you know. 
just want to tell you that Trump is not going to be able to, even, even though I know he's BSing somewhat on the election, I know he was kind of playing it up, and I don't think he remembers everything he even says when he's talking, you know. He kind of talks from the hip, kind of like what I do, but I, I do remember more or less what I said. But what I'm saying is, he's going he's gonna to get in there, he's already finding out he can't do all this stuff he wants to do. And if he tries it, he's dead meat. Mm. He's been a JFK. So if you want to fix things, you got to quit getting off, you know, that's why I can't stand a lot of these conservatives, and like, oh, Jesus will freaking come and freaking, the revelation to say, well, okay, fine. Fine, fine. That's another cop out too. So, anyway, just as long as you kind of, and it's like you just can't fix everything yourself. But if everybody is kind of like revolting in a little different ways, oh, it makes a difference. Oh, they're afraid of that. That's why they're going to allow Trump to do some stuff, and that's not good enough. You see what I'm saying? We got to really screw them up. And I'm going to be putting out more practical videos on stuff. We might have some more. I don't know, we might have a, I don't know, maybe some stupid coming up, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I think I got some other knife videos coming up here pretty soon. But it's just a subject I got a kick on here recently, so. But we're getting back into health videos again because um, some of the most some of the most effective stuff that I want you to know about. And I put different things out about some of these items before, but there's a lot more to it. And I know I get arguments from people sometimes online. They get, I read a Harvard study that says this and that. And said, well, you know what? They're lying. Yo, yo. Okay? They get paid to lie. Anyway, and this kid does know his stuff. Um, I don't talk eloquently on a purpose. And, you know, when I'm with clients, I used, to, I used to have to talk really cute, but not as much, not super cute. But when I'm here, I don't like talking like that. But if you notice, actually, when I write in the notes down in the bottom of the video, you'll see there's a little more in there that... You know, it's a little more stuff in there that you can realize that I do know what I'm talking about. But I deliberately do not like talking like a um, $500 a word Fruit Loop like a lot of these other people do. And I don't like, you know, playing the creative multimedia freaking game like the other YouTubers do. With, you know, they take clips of them and they show this. And I just, I'm putting out raw information. Bottom line, Trump is was somewhat bullshitting like when he was he was he was uh, running for office but he's gonna look like a major bullshitter when he gets in office as you see as time goes on because he's hardly gonna deliver on anything very little it's gonna be more like surface crap versus substance and that is because he can't so if you want to fight you gotta fight not just him a lot of ways you can do it in subtle ways. So go for it, man. That's all I got to tell you. Go for it. Give him hell. <laughs>